Welcome back everyone, we took Shangyang and that was a big victory. Simo Wei is on the ropes right now. The Jin Empire, who I support wholeheartedly, they're very powerful and they're all over. There are three armies over here, right by the trade port of Luoyang alone. And as a reminder everyone, if you would like to support my series, don't forget to leave a like and comment right down below. And Simo Wei, no, you get nothing from me. I do apologize, but you've got to go. And I want your lands too, by the way. We'll grow, we'll become more powerful. He made a bad choice, and really, what probably threw him for a loop was the Jin Empire being able to hold him back and beat him too. Now, Sima Yao is attacking Sima Wei. We have a new child, Sima Yushu. And let's keep on looking. We've gained a clay rat. We have more buildings now. There's a few ambushes I don't need to worry about. Let's come right over here to the Unding Livestock Farm. That will provide some food for me. And now it belongs to me. After this, we'll finish up our Satsau campaign. Then we'll go back to Warby 2 for a little while. And who knows what we'll do after that. We have a chance to gain an ancillary for Sima Ying. A Jade Horse. Hey, that's really good. And it's plus 8 to Cunning. I'll dispense my items later. We currently have, let's see, 3 tiers in Mind Alignment. Oh, right. Satisfaction is down a little bit. Next one will be minus 15. Oh boy, I might have to avoid that for a little bit. That can cause issues. I mean, I do have a small staff right now, so if I do focus on it, I can try to power it through until we have no penalty. But if you look at it right now, I have more land than before. Over here, we have Sima Fangning, my wife. She's not fighting with me. We can bring her down over here to the Shangyong Weapon Craftsman location. And while we do that, we have one enemy right over here. I wonder, hold on. I need to go talk to the Jin Empire real quick. Can you travel on my lands right now? Welcome. Come in. Let's go look around and see. Well, we're allied, I suppose. I mean, that would do it. Should you go fight them? If I pay you that much per turn, you would. Okay, well, I don't want to do that right now. I'm very powerful. There's only a few factions who can really deal with me, I think. I'm equal to a lot of factions. I mean, I have two big stacks. A lot of the factions here are fragmented outside of the Jin Empire, so that's kind of a logical thing. Okay, let's come over here now and build up our Silk Trader into a Grand Silk Road Market. Due to my money, due to the focus of this faction, the amount of money that I can make is absolutely high. Uh, we can do so much. Here's Shangyong. Way over here. And I wanted to build a good building to make people happy. We need noble support. Let's have a look over here at the buildings and see what I'll gain. I need public order, my friend. I need to make sure people are feeling pretty good about their lives. Here we go. That would do it. All right. We already have that building, though. Hmm. I suppose what I could do is lower my taxes. I mean, they are very, very high right now. I'm gonna raise them up by one tier. Everyone's still doing fine. It feels good to finally be able to kind of play with that a little bit more. I don't always get to do that. Okay, so we do have a lot of corruption. Unfortunately, I will need to go work on that corruption. Corruption has got to go down or we're going to have more issues than ever. Removes corruption. There we go. We'll take that. I've spent all of my money. Let's go have a look around the map. We're still waiting with Simai Ying's little friend here by Jen. And I think we're done. I think we've done what we can. I'm not done fighting Sima Wei. He's broken. He's trapped by me at Chang'an. That really screwed him over, was being trapped over here. The location around Chang'an is such a terrible location to fight in. It's quite the challenge. It's able to hinder you a lot. Now we're back to my turn. My god, what happened here? Sima Ai has a new vassal. Sima Yue has vassalized Song Wei. A lot of peace treaties. Sima Mo is fighting the Jin Empire. Okay. Everyone's fighting. There's just so much. Okay, you want me to do what to who? Sima Chang. Declare war. I suppose we can. I wonder if through events it won't cause any issues for me. I guess we'll find out. Let's go to get rid of all that. I'm going to try to focus on gaining more lands from my enemies. Okay, we'll be there in like one more turn. We can go grab that salt mine. And while I do that, we'll come on down here. 
Can I move through your lands anyway? I don't really know if I can. We do have some Chong over there. We could have the peace treaty now if I wanted to. But I suppose not taking that farmland of Anding would be annoying for me. He probably won't give it up. Alright, let's go to Bashi real quick. In Bashi, I can upgrade more stuff. That will give me more trade influence. I think I want to do that right away. We still have some food. Let me go look over here at Diplomacy. Non-aggression pact. See my Yao is way over there. Suo is over here. She's an underdog. No, no damn, really. Become vassal? I think not. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we have it under control. This will be short. Let's see. Peace over here. But I would only do that if you gave me some land. Like that farmland. They won't do that. Yep. There's no way to make them do that. I would probably need to give them way too much. More than I want to. So we're going to end our turn again. As we continue to move. We I'm offer you this by. chance for glory. If I say no, so be it. They're requesting, not demanding. So maybe that'll be it. That'll be what I need is to just avoid that. I did decide to go fight too much long. If he comes after my land, hey, I'll be all right. I think. I wonder if I can head. I might have to head through a different location. Oh man, see my eyes getting all the vassals now. Look at all of what's happening here. There's just so much. Okay, I will not be doing that. They are though. If I head through here, it'll take a long time to actually make it to where I want to go. So let's try it out with a march stance. That wouldn't take nearly as long. Oh, that's an ambush stance. Hold on. Go to where is it at? Not the camp. Yeah. Let's just go. That's my march. We'll head right through here. Okay, rivals, diplomacies. Sima Yue. Excuse me. Oh, you're finally over here to fight me. Okay. I see. You've got your army. Would my garrison be sufficient? I don't think it would be. Let's um have a no, that wouldn't be a great garrison to handle that many enemy leaders. So what I'll do, I'll come over here real quick. And we're just gonna take it over. He's going to be weaker than ever. He'll want a peace treaty. We've already wiped out so many of his soldiers. We're at 2,800. I now own that location. And that means I wouldn't have to go after him. I can go after Sima Chong, who's over to the east. Yeah, all right. I guess we can have a peace treaty. Let's negotiate a little bit, though. There's got to be something that I can get from him. I really want to take... No, it's Shangyong. I really want that location. Okay, what if I gave you some ancillaries? Yeah, I've got some stuff. I'll trade that. That armor, too. I've got over... No, that's too good. That's a Forge Master. I've got a Clay Rat. I've got over here a Clay Axe, too. Okay, so we're nearly there. And I'll be able to take that land without having to actually go to him. I will also offer some money. Let me see how much money. You'd say 2,000. Okay, that's too much. Let's try 1,500. That'll work. Okay. Now we have a peace treaty. I gave him some really good stuff. But now I have Ola Shang Yong. That's what I wanted. I'm going to upgrade that famous weaponsmith. There we go. So now we can get that rolling. All right. Everyone's pretty much happy. I've got some more peace. That's more noble support. Farming estates. We'll take that right now. We can move her back. So that's really cool. And we need more technology. Okay. Let's go look at what we want then. Food production would go up. That's true. Let's go work on that. More food production for all of us. Four turns only. We can end our turn again. Who else wants a peace tree? See, Ma Hong does way up there if we must I wonder what I could get from him he doesn't have a lot of well no he's actually got a decent amount I think 572 okay I'll take this it meets our approval we've isolated many wars 
and we're stronger for it. Now we can go after Sima Chang. I know down here Wang Xin doesn't like me at all. Chang over here likes me more, so we could be friendly with him and go take more lands over in Chengdu. I do want to go push into Chengdu a bit. Which means redeployment might be the way to do it. I could always reduce the cost of that through technology. All right. Back to me again. Sima Jian is not fighting Sima Wei. Ooh, a stone monkey. More instinct. A lot of characters in our court. Let's go look at the court now. Okay, she's fairly young. Looking at who they fought for in the past. Let me go look at their gear. Got a military G. I do like military Gs. Nothing too considerable that I want right away. Yeah, here's my family tree. Three children. Only one with my current wife. Rank five. Only 33. Here's my family member. Here's my other one. If only we could bring him back into the fold, you know? Okay. Let's go look around. We're building everywhere, so it's not like I'm not doing anything. I'm building in every single location that I can be building in. All right. If I want to go to Chengdu, if I go attack Wang, how poorly would that go? Let's go to negotiate and see. Make it quick. Would it break any treaties at all? I don't believe so. No. I think that should be fine. I, it didn't state anything. I don't think I'll be breaking anything at all. Oh, look at Sima Wei. He marched away so quickly. He's only got a holding of power up north. That's how far we pushed him. I really want to go fight him again, but we're going to have to wait on that. The lands I have over here are very exposed. Okay, I would like to recall. Only because it's going to take too long to move it around the map. Okay. There we go. Now I'm making 5,300. What I wanted to do, I want to actually pop up over here, but that means I need a new assignment. All right. Reserves. Ah, here we go. Mustering turns. That will shorten the turns we take here. Cheaper buildings in Chengdu. More trade influence. Keep on doing that for me. We're making so much more money. And right now, my wife is going to move back into Shangyang, the small regional city. Pardon me? Oh, right, right. You damaged all of that. I can actually move you away for now as well. Oops, oops. My, answer, my bad. Your request. There we go. 5,994 income. That's for one turn. Man, I would love to get a Shogun 3 just with what we're looking at here with the campaign map. Of course, I wish the campaign map was like applicable to most other Total War games too, so that's fair. That's what I want, man. Everyone is going after Sima Wei. He was so gravely weakened by the war with me. I'm now making more money than before. I think my trade influence is making a big difference. Let me go look at it real quick. 2.2k with trade. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. Raise army. Let's do it over here in an actual small city of Chengdu. So we'll go take our leader in just a minute. Let me just look around real quick and see what other people have. Okay. Excuse me. Oh my god, I need even more than I thought. Okay. I'll have to save up just a little bit. Only issue with redeployment is the overall cost. My god. Alright, so we'll give it like an extra turn. And now we can get her to head over here to the toolmaker, then we'll go after the actual city. I think she'll be fine. Everyone's happy. I've had a lot of noble support, keeping our money very high. So many other princes still exist. I wonder when I'll have to actually fight the Jin Empire directly. I'll be able to do it when it, the time comes, but I'm trying to avoid it right now. The Jin Empire is fighting other factions, and that puts me at a nice advantage. I'm using them. Energetic versus quiet. I'm going to become closer with Lu Yan. He's been here for a long time, so now those two are closer. Many new characters are in my court. I'll have to go check on them in a second. Excuse me, who? Oh, that's really far away. Okay, well, let's go to the court. Ping Chion. Okay. You've got some armor. Ooh, here's a family member. Sima Xing. 40 years old, rank 5. A lot of high-ranked people. Okay, you're rank 1. 
creature attacks a collector. Why don't I, I wonder why like all of you are legendary, but throwing five guys is a little bit more understandable. I'll recruit him. You're actually better than this guy over here. Well, no, I guess you're both considered to be legendary. Okay, that's fair. Might get rid of someone eventually, but let's go have a look. He's unhappy. He went to higher core position. Totally get that man. Instead, why don't I just make sure that you have a lot more satisfaction? There we go. I'll promote you. Okay. You got your armor. You're fine. That's more cunning. You don't need more cunning. We need more weapons. What we need. He's very talented. He's a family member. My courts. And now we can finally get what we want over here, which is see my ying. Be ready. Very expensive. China Don't want to do that all the time. Okay, I can't bring him in. Look at all the people here. Good God. Okay, I can't get Luji. I can't get Shichol. I'll have to wait. Again, too much money. I will continue to move my wife. Let's go look around though. Two of you leveled up. Okay. So he leveled up once he did. I know you're not as happy as you could be here. Have a statue. <laughs> Have a statue. I bet you want a new position as well. It's a lot to promote you, man. Noble support would go up. Avoiding ambush. I'm not using you in battle right now, but that'll be for industry. Extra industry money. And then Sima Shing. Let's see. More industry money as well. Oh, right, right. You have all these things going on. That's for commanderies, faction wide. Okay, let's keep on going. Over here, we have one more point. Tenacity is still. Could be good for the future. All right. I'll probably continue to promote them all. When we have an ample opportunity, let me go look at income. I'm going to look at income. Let's see. Chang'an, how much do you have from industry? A little bit. Wudu probably has a lot. Yeah, 550 from industry. So, I'm going to send out Sima Xing. Reserves would go down by six. Never mind. Well, how about with building? All right. And my wife is going to move further down. Who's over here? Sima Yue. Oh, he's close. He's very close. He's rank five. He's a faction leader, 49 years old, a little bit older. Colon, 45. Princess Pei, 49. There's just so many. I wonder which location. Yeah, he's Not over possible. here at his capital. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to kill him. Sima Chong is over here, a wanderer. We've got Sima Yang right here. Faction heir, and then a tactician. Yeah, they've got a lot of resolve and cunning. And I'm out there trying to get my leader to go expand in a relatively easy location. But I did want to try to consolidate power down south and unite all of Chengdu. There's a few locations I don't have fully united. I'll even go after Sima Wei after our peace treaty is done with. Oh, he's moved. Okay. I can try to ambush him. I have supplies for a little while. Oh, you have Sima Liang? Jeez. Okay, you want supplies. If I do that, contribute or contribute. Yeah, that would be minus two. Up here. I have 15 right now, so I'll do that. We'll be in favor again. We just they're staying in in favor a lot. It's great. Alright, so I only have so many supplies. Let's um go over here. Ambush. They try to move. We know where they're gonna go. And while I do that, let's pull up Uji and Shicho. That's so much money that could have gone to all of my buildings, but now we just need to let them replenish for a bit. There goes most of my money. All right, let's go look at what else I can do. That would be military logistics. Okay, redeployment cost would have been my 10%. That would have been nice. Okay, so these all help out with redeployment cost. Available armies, mustering turns, minus two. That's really good, too. These will only take me all three turns because of my high research capabilities. All right, so we'll go ahead and take that for more ammo and more military supplies because we can use it. I did, even though the actual tree that they were using was quite beautiful, it took a long time to get anywhere with anything. I think it took like way too long, but it would unlock like minor things, but never quite get what you want. And so many units were like locked behind it. I got the concept of it, but 
Okay, we did it. So now we need to have a battle here to ambush their army at night. They have what? Spearmen? They have Archer Militia. She's only got two units, it seems. Okay. Let's go fight them. I didn't get to fix up my entire army, but I want a few more horsemen under the command of my wife. That'll be nice to have. Sometimes you just have to mix and match. You don't always get that choice to not mix and match. So that's what I'm doing right now. Little bit of mixing, little bit of matching. It's just a moment. There we go. All right. So last time I did an ambush, I fought on one side. I love doing that. It's very effective. I think I will still do that to a certain degree, or I could just go crush all their archers and then fight their melee. But again, that invalidates the strategy of my current campaign. My current campaign is all about ranged attacks. Ranged attacks are what I want to focus on. It's what we're good at. And it's what I have a lot of. So we're actually going to do that again. I wasn't going to do it for a brief moment, but honestly, I'm not going to negate my primary advantage. That just seems really weird to me. Doesn't seem right. I mean, look at all the freaking archers and crossbows. I mean, these are all going to destroy the hell out of all of them. And I have flaming grounds if I want to use those. And, and I, I do. I do want to use those. So we're just going to keep all of that together. Okay, it's all going to be in guard mode. Done. Luji. Not Ji. It's going to be over here. Pong. It's going to be over here. We have our commanders. They're all going to be over here. I don't really have any formations yet. I wish I did. Also, I don't have a lot of infantry, so winning in that infantry fight is probably not going to work out for me. I'll put two G militia over there. I'll put some infantry over here, too. We'll get some horsemen back here. I need to make sure they're all hidden, though. That's going to be important. There we go. All right, let's begin. And so what we do in the very beginning, we just have everyone fire immediately at those who are in the front. I'll get my crossbows to hit those who are behind. And let's see. Onyx, yeah, you'll hit here. Militia, you'll hit here. As for my trebuchet, they can begin to hit the archers who are back here. The archer militia. So let's go check out what that's going to look like for all of them. Imagine you're just marching, then out of nowhere, arrows. Arrows everywhere. Will he duel me? He will not duel. He's my equal, but he doesn't want to duel. Okay. You can see how nasty this fight is. Okay, one runs away, so we go back into slow motion. We then target the Saber Militia. I'll get my archers to target the Wavering Spear Guards. And that's how we're going to focus fire on one group at a time. The Archer Militia is already losing some of it, man. We're fighting at night. We're hitting them with arrows. What a dreadful attack for anyone. We go back into slow motion. We focus everything right now on these enemies that are coming at me. That way, we focus fire on one group at a time. They break. When they come back, we'll get them again. They might be, you know, wavering, but they're not broken yet. Now they're broken. We'll go back into slow motion one more time. I'm going to get all of my crossbows to attack over here. Archer Militia over here. And over here. That's how we do it. So those who come by, they're going to be, again, screwed. Just completely screwed. All the while... I'm going to have this trebuchet hitting this group of archer militia who's coming my way. All right, we're hitting some of them. Now we're going to divide up my crossbows a little bit. We're going to hit a few of these archers while they're in range. There we go. Archer militia can go hit what they want. Saber militia are moving in. Pong is going to move in right over here to go after these spear guards. He's very good at taking those out. Okay, my trebuchet is going to come over here to attack that solid group of archer militia. So we'll go into slow motion just to go check out what's happening right now. So we can see that I've got all these archers, which again, part of my plan. Hong is going to go fight the spear guards. We have limited enemy... Okay, here's a horse unit. But yeah, we have limited enemy units coming to actually attack my lines. We're holding them off. All the while, these bolts and archers and everything else are penetrating them. Indeed, we're all about mass penetration here. Atlanta Surreal. Should move back to Stable Militia. 
few militia can wait where they're at. We see how many of them are trying to get away. It's not really working out. Bongo is 25. I don't know how many debuffs. We do have some buffs, though. Those are nice. We can charge in now with my G militia. Go after their G militia that are running away. Go after the spear guards who are left. Okay, we're nearly done. Let's attack this group of... Actually, I'll get you two to come after that group of spear guards. I'll get my crossbows to shoot something. I haven't really decided what yet. Just, kind of, just have them reform, I suppose. China will revel in your death. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. All right. And Trebuchet. They've killed 191, but these archers are not having it. They're broken already. A lot of them are running. Oh, yeah. He's trying to get away. He's directly just trying to escape now. So we'll try to go get them, too. I don't think we'll get them in time, but that's okay. They're pretty close to just being able to stay here. All right, just wait here. I'll get all of my range units to kind of reform a little bit. No, they've already reformed, so on these dragons, you can move back. I'm gonna go after that strategist, go do that. You two will go after their champion. Let's go in and fight. And we're still fighting this group of spear guards close by. My trebuchet will not come to attack over here. There's a group of them in the trees. We'll go kill them. I could just get my crossbows to go hit this group. Oh, they, they hit away. Never mind. Stop moving. All right. Two strategists are slapping it out. We, they're just having a little slappy slap. Slap fight. The battle's over, though. We've already won. Excuse me. Can I help you? Then you get all of your crossbows to hit, and they just drop. And we just chase after those who are left, who are trying to follow me. I don't know who's left of their leadership, but we took out one. Let's see. That champion's still here. We'll go take him out. He's freaking out. Was that a family member? Fallen Oathsworn. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's getting punked big time, though. Terrifying. He's very strong because he's very mad. No, I don't want you going after him. That's a bad idea. I could get a commander to do so, but not you. Oh, it's... Okay, never mind. It's all over for him. Let's just get that champion. Let's get Sima Chung. That's all I really care about right now is getting Sima Chung. I didn't really use my horsemen in that fight. Probably should have, could have. Let's go after that group. It's 140G Militia. All right, we're at 7.1K. Doing our best to try to get... Okay, 4.9K. 2.6K. 1.9. The enemy general is full. We got him. Okay, we can leave now. And that's how you take him out, man. Just one slap at a time. And there we are. Those who oppose harmony 498. We captured him. I'm not going to kill anyone who's talented. I'll let him go. He's got a lot of friends and rivals. Release them. You? What do you have? A herdsman. Eh. I am not without mercy. I'll take the 10% replenishment. I'm pretty kind. If I kill all the good characters, I won't have long-running rivals. Oh my god, he vassalized him away. That's interesting. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have like a giant vassal war eventually. As what often happens, you know. I'm still at 5,000 for income. That's wild. To arms. And because I beat the crap out of him, I can come over here and take out to hopefully arms. the two armies in one go. Yeah, if I do that. She should be isolated. She should be cut off to where she's unable to get away. So I'll be able to beat her on her following turn without having... Well, let's see. No, I don't think I can move anymore. That won't be able to happen. Yeah, out of movement, but... Not yeah, pretty far. Okay, what do you need now? That would be Wisdom of the River. More authority. Okay, what about over here? Intuition. We're looking at patience. That's always handy. I'm going to take your Wisdom of the River to say that you have like an active ability to use... You have your Jade Horse, finally. There we go. Now you're at 175. That's even more. Wow. 
Yep, he is one renowned scholar. And down here, I'm still trying to muster up all of my numbers. Taking some time. I've got 5,200. Let's go look over here. I'm untru- what? Oh, shit. So it happens, you know? I'm vassal. Still not gonna happen. Let's see. Create vassal. I don't think anyone wants to do that. Jin Empire is still the strongest here. See, my eye has... He's pretty friendly with me. He's like out there just kind of doing his own thing, really. Yeah. So be it. That's like a nice location where I don't have to really go to. To the east? Oh, yeah. There's some very angry people. Seem away incredibly angry. I'm going to head up there later, too. I'm going to even build another army soon at the rate this is all heading. All right. Let's go sort by income. we got 1,300 over here. Let me go look at special buildings before I try to do anything else. Special buildings make a lot. It's more trade influence for me. Over here, we have our pine wood cutter. Very cheap. Hanjong is over here. That's a temple. That's Gudu. On Ding has a livestock estate. We'll take that. I really want that farmland. Oh, yeah. Look at Sima Wei. Just trespassing. Again, we kicked him out up north, so I'll eventually have to go out to go beat him up there. But Wang Xin has got to go. I don't know if he's allied to anyone. It's going to be a problem. Together, a lot of alliances. We're not doing that either. We withdraw it then. I know you're a trusted friend. You like me too much. You won't, you know, bother me. They still hold a nice holding of land. To the northeast, it looks like they're losing a little bit. Wait, Chong, why do you dislike me? What's going on there, pal? Oh, no. Peace Treaty, I see. You vassalized him. So he's basically just vassalized like the world. Sima Yue is just the leader of the world. Where are you at, anyway? Yeah, he's right over here. He's not very big, is he? No, he's not. And yet, everyone just kind of said, Hey, you know what? You can have control. That's fine. I'll take care of him, too. All right, here's a tool maker. I'll take that extra 100, actually. It's going to be a tool maker over here that I took from them. I want to go hunt him down if I can. I want to destroy his army and then go after his capital. Yeah, cool. He barely has anything left. Might end up killing him in battle, but as it stands right now... Oh, yeah. He's dead. What a shame. What do you have? Again, that same herdsman. Set them loose. They are no Take like that replenishment. And she's the leader now. I see China's future. No We're going to start moving over there to go take over that location. Fong is now rank 5. All right. There you go. Much better weapon. He's going to kill a lot more people. Okay, you only have one skill point. That would be more resolve and courage. A morale boost. I do like that. You're not commanding. So take that instead. There we go. More resolve. 39 years old. Very strong. Yeah, there's Chong. Attitude Consequence. Oh, you're kidding me. What deal? Hmm. Might have to wait what then. I might not be able to do what I wanted to do. Yeah, I think he's a he's a vassal too, right? He's something. Trade partners, wars. You're fighting the Jin Empire. If we must. Proposed vote. You're already fighting them, so whatever. That's fine. I'm just going to have to travel around now. At least I'm down here, I suppose. I don't know. It'll take some time to travel wherever I need to go. We've already killed two enemies. Those two are getting along. These two are rivals. Ah, well. I still have 15 food. We can look at my quick deal. Being untrustworthy is not great. See my young is way up here and uh kind of doing like his own thing. I want all your money. So give me 1700. It is agreed. So now I just need to figure out who's going to fight me next. I don't know who that's going to be. Really have no idea, so we're just going to improve our buildings while we wait. Get more food, build up garrisons. So we can do some building up now. 
while we try to finally finish off the Sima Chung faction. I don't think I'm going to do that again. That's like always a big issue too when you ever get out to the west. It's so expanseful that you have to travel everywhere. It takes for long periods of time to get anything done. What the hell? Wow. We have a new child. Well, that's good, I suppose. New ancillary. More character developments. I'll get you on them in a minute. All right. She's 38. Rank 1. Sigma G. No decent weapons. You have stuff. <laughs> kind of. No good stuff at all. Nope. Mm -mm. I have to start trying to encourage a few of you. How close am I to the next tier? Let me go have a look real quick. Still Grand Prince. I cannot oh, believe it is you. What in tarnation? That is insane. I might just start betraying people just so I can start conquering the entire world at the rate we're going. I might have to start going crazy and just expanding because the Jin Empire has my back. So I just need to kind of expand near their boundaries and that'll give me room to kind of do my own thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Unlocks a new building, but more importantly, I get to redeploy for a little bit cheaper. Look at that, six thousand salt mining town, five fifty for income, insane amount of money. Because of what I'm making now, it's going to be a huge garrison that's going to help keep us safe. And let's see, see my Yang, she's going to be there in an extra turn. I've never seen so many vassals for not like he's putting Yuan Shao to to uh, shame there. That's pretty nuts. I don't really know where I want to go right now. That's like the crazy part. I guess I'll head over here. Puts me at like a midway point. I've got Qingdu. Normally it's not that bad, but... Oh yeah, Ba Jin. He's going to have to go. I'll have to get rid of him. He's way too unhappy. So we'll get rid of him real quick. My mind alignment's about to make it much worse. I'll have to start spending a lot of money to promote them all to try to keep them happy. Who's that dude even fighting anyway? Heavy. We propose a truce. I have no choice but to say yeah. That means who I get to fight is so isolated because he's got like what ten people fucking under him. We cannot ignore your actions. Okay, so much you. That's fine. That gives me something to do. Enemy belligerents. What the hell? Oh. See, my eye might not actually do it. I hope that gave me all the information I needed to make that choice. Otherwise, I'm, it's going to be really painful. Let's see. You vassalized Mao Ren. Jin Empire. Peace Treaty. Song Wei. I signed a peace treaty. So much use. Yep. A hero's aid. Chance to gain an ancillary. Very small font size. Yeah, I gained a nice one. Some good armor for a strategist. What, these two are friends now? That's weird. Oh, I guess that war ended, right? Because of what? Well, mm -hmm. Damn. So it's only me and Sima Chi who's way. What the hell, dude? Why would you do that? A waste of time. I mean, that's fine if you want to fight me, but it's really weird. I can't just fight you because it'll cause an issue. We'll just start to move back now. Yeah, we're in a weird place. Look at all the lands I've taken, but we're in a weird place. We've got all these lands. I'm going to have to build up like a third army soonish. How are my people doing? Are they okay? They're all right. They need, they're, they could they be much, much better. Like he's at 23. I'm going to promote him again. It's only 1,200. There we go. I'll just use promotions to kind of subdue them. All right, let's have a look at any special buildings again. I'd love to focus on those. Like over here, legendary weaponsmith. I get a chance at getting a really good item. What else do we have? Can I even upgrade that silk farm anymore? I can't. That's maxed out. I make 600 from silk. Not bad. That reduces corruption. We'll take that. And I think I'm good for that turn. 
This is like the weirdest campaign I've ever played when it comes to diplomacy. Words will not be enough. I'm getting some factions here coming after me. Mahong, Yu, Yong, Wei. Alliance War. Okay, we'll take care of this Alliance War when we're back. Looks like I just need to head up north now. Cool. Okay, she is demanding more stuff from me. Spirit alignment. If I do that, large food donation. At least more food, but we'll be in favor again. We'll get more income from all sources. I mean, if I just keep doing that, keep doing what they want. So what? The world is under my command. So now we got to do that. I might have to build up some temporary army eventually, but let's have a look over here. A tea house would give me plus 10. Let's go look at Chengdu. Chengdu is looking pretty good too. I want to make sure that all these bordering locations have extreme. Could upgrade that too. That's for adjacent areas for corruption. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, extreme garrisons. Like over in Anding. Gotta have that. Artisan Tool Depot. I'll take that one instead. It's a lot of money. But it'll be done in six turns, hopefully. And we'll have crazy amounts of money just flowing in. We're at 8k for taxation. I'm now going to look at the map real quick and see who we're fighting. Let's see real quick. Trespassing. I'm not fighting you. Hostile. There we go. Enemy. Alliance enemy. Yeah, that would be up there. I could sell up the river and go fight them. Not fighting Sima Wei blows. I really wanted to fight him. Jin Empire will always have land over here to the northwest. That will be safe. They're finally beating the Jin Empire back at a few locations. I really want them to kind of hold out. I might have to go to Sim. I'll figure it out though. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with that. One more turn and then I'll have more tech done. I'm still getting pretty close to being a Grand Prince. We just need to get a little bit more. I'm at 240. I need 60 more. Imperial Prince will do what for me? Ooh, annexing the Jin Empire. Let's see. A small chance each turn of being offered the Regency. Gotcha. By having high spirit of wealth alignments. By capturing the Imperial Capital, allowing you to become a Regent. Increase your prestige by capturing and expanding settlements. Okay. Regent would give me what? Of Prince rank or above. Minor factions will like me. Emperor, of course, is a lot. So, yeah, these are like the other tertiary ranks. Victorious Prince is what I want. But, yeah, only one prince is gone. The rest are still here, kind of. I'll have to figure out what to do with all the other princes and all that. But, anyway. Thank you for watching, everyone. Leave a like down below. Look forward to more later. And, as always, until then.